Greetings from the Emerald Isle, whiskey lovers. My name's Al, and this is Whiskey Street. Welcome, whiskey lovers. I'm Whiskey Street Al, and thanks for joining me for another episode of Whiskey Street. So, before we get started, why don't you pour yourself a dram, sit back, relax, and let's talk whiskey. And today the whisky we're talking about is Tullamore Dew. The distillery was first established in Tullamore in 1829 and as was common practice at that time uh, it produced pure pot still whisky using the triple maturation process. Now it wasn't until the 1890s that Tullamore Dew as a brand was actually developed and that was down to a man called Daniel E. Williams. I don't know what the E stands for if anybody does, please uh, pop it in the comments down below. Now, he's, he was a very epitome of a self-made man. Born in 1848, he, as a young boy, went to work at the distillery and took up a position as a stable boy. But he had drive and desire and passion. And that led to him slowly rising up through the ranks until he eventually became the distillery owner. Now, it's not just whiskey that... Daniel E. Williams is uh, famed for. He's actually credited with bringing not only electricity to Tullamore but also the motorised automobile. And it seems that he was generally an all round good guy and used his wealth to help those less fortunate than himself. Now let's look a bit more into the whisky itself and how it was created and developed. Now Daniel E. Williams was a man who believed that true craft could only come from true character and that's how he insisted this whisky was made. Today that same tradition is carried on by the distillery which is now owned by William Grant and Sons and they talk about the beauty of the blend. So what is the beauty of the blend? Well in this case it's a story of everything coming in threes. This is a triple blend. It's triple distilled and it's triple matured. So what does all that entail? Okay. There's three Irish whiskies. There's pot still, malt and grain, which are triple blended, then they're triple distilled, and then they're triple matured in traditional refill casks, ex bourbon casks, and ex sherry casks. And that's what the company says gives Tullamore Dew its unique flavour and its depth, and what they also say is a gentle complexity. Now Daniel E. Williams, he worked uh, in the distillery for over 60 years, right up until his death in 1921. But today his legacy lives on in Tullamore Dew, not only in this, but in other expressions the company produces. So let's take a deeper look into what it's like. Welcome back folks and let's get on with the tasting. Now this one's been sitting out for a while to let it open up and breathe and let's see why Tullamore Dew is the second largest selling Irish whiskey in the world. So let's get into the nosing. Now there's lemon there straight off, it's quite distinct and there's a bit of fudge with it as well and I'm getting a slight hint of marzipan too. Now there's some, some, some apple there as well and a bit of vanilla along with some floral notes too. Let's see how it fares on the palate. Again, it's lemon, it's very lemony up front. There's a bit of spice there, it's like mixed spice, but it's very gentle. And it, and it quickly mellows out, and then again, there's that subtle hint of marzipan. A bit more distinct on the palate than it is on the nose. I'm getting a bit of wood, and again, that lemon influences right throughout it and right in the back there's 
there's some vanilla coming in there as well there's a bit of an initial bite there and you know overall it does mellow down fairly quick and there's a nice buttery mouth coating finish but all in all I don't really get a whole pile going on with this but at the end of the day I can't deny that it's bloody nice it's exceedingly drinkable and you're talking about an average of 20 quid a bottle and quite often a lot lower down 15 16 quid you know this is a great entry into Irish whiskey if you haven't tried Irish whiskey this is definitely one to go out and get and uh, it will lead you on nicely to some of the maybe more complex offerings it's a real easy sipper and it's really one of those drinks that would be hard to beat in terms of value for money and for the actual quality that is there at that level so definitely one to give a whirl I really like it I always try to keep one fairly close to hand and uh, if you haven't tried it I think you should give it a whirl if you have let me know what you think of it in your comments down below but uh, thanks again for watching please comment like and share and don't forget to ring the bell so that you don't miss out on any future reviews so once again thanks for watching stay safe until the next time and you know how it goes enjoy your whiskey the way you like it slaughter